So we can just say it ain't start for now. It didn't start. Justice League, Justice League, Justice League. It's the boss. It gets no better than this. May not you. Swimming and winning, champagne sipping. Connected, but it ain't getting no power. Only thing that had power was a uh, distributor. So, just about to keep uh, doing some tests real quick. I took all that back apart because uh, too many splices in the system. I don't know what's going on, but I'm trying to figure it out right now. What I did, but I got action. Y'all can get so. I do that and put that purple on that issue. Something like that. But let's see. I just cleaned the grounds. Let's see what it do now. Because uh uh it's the grounds not bad, the starter's bad, one or two, but I don't think the starter bad, it looked brand new. Yeah, something's bad. So this should be uh trying to start. Yeah, something bad for sure. Don't know what. I don't know what I was chopped either. Uh, need some time. I'm just gonna take this whole harness. Like you don't need none of this. All that stuff is emissions. So this uh, alternator wire, wire to the distributor, ground to the block, and literally that's it. And then uh, 12 volt switch for when you press the button for AC. That's it. Charge wire. Mm. Like you don't need all this stuff, so it'd be confusing sometimes if you don't have a book. But on a lot of gym cars, they I learned that they the same, so this should be starting. It's getting the tone still from the from the dash, but I don't know. Don't know. I don't know why I'm touching that. I just seen that the wires were running on. Uh, yeah. So we can just say it ain't start for now. It didn't start. Back at it. Let's change the oil. Oh uh, man, this, look at this filter. It looks so. Look at this filter. It looks horrible. The frame is not the best, but it works. Um, when you get oil filters, it's for everybody, especially do your own oil change. Like, this is a cheap one. You can tell they went, like, to somewhere. Cheap, right? Well, not really. But when you change your oil, you're looking for a, a rubber gasket at the top. This will hold oil in this area. When you start, it won't knock. Like, it's a lot of forwards that as soon as you start, it knock for, like, three four seconds. Every car make that noise with high mileage. Yeah, they don't have that O-ring. So... <laughs> Fram just they the orange ones they just recently started doing it like within the last year and some change so start buying those they only need four bucks three dollars and some change at uh auto zone so got fresh oil fresh air filter oil filter this filter i don't really want to go back in so i'm not going to try to make it so i'm gonna just do it when it's warm outside but well, warmer or well, probably when the engine bay warmed up but Dropped it down. I ordered some tires for it today. When this is all said and done, I should have uh, about 950 into this car. Uh, maybe a little more if I go get a detail. So, to be a $3,000 car around here, maybe even 3500 depending on how long I want to hold it. But yeah, low miles. And uh, I'm gonna get it warmed up today and see how it extra sound when it's warm. Oh man, long head gasket, I'm pretty sure. So I'm gonna cut it off. All right, so I'm pretty sure it's a blown head gasket, the exhaust smoke coming from everywhere. So, what I'm gonna do, take the cylinder heads off. And then I'm going to, cause uh, it's not showing nothing on the cooling. So um, I probably, I believe it's already hot. 
I don't feel nothing coming out of there. This looked like coolant coming up. <laughs> we can't even see it no more. I mean, it looked like oil was in there. The oil was on half of this uh, air filter. So, I got a block tester. I'm going to bring that tonight, maybe, possibly tomorrow. And I'm going to show y'all what it looked like when we do a block test if we a uh, head gasket blown. Um, price some head gases and price some motor. Uh, I'd rather not replace the motor. Head gaskets would be literally intake manifold, all this stuff. Valve covers and then take the bolts off for the head gaskets. Replace the gaskets, put everything back together. But you gotta check the head, the deck surface, make sure it's not too warped. I don't know what the old owner to see, so uh, it'd be like a one-day job, unless it need machine work, then be a few days job. Uh, I'm pricing to them the heads and a motor right now, and then head gas is everything I need, so. Uh, didn't really win, but we didn't really lose either, so probably add a few more hundred to the total. And long as somebody see that it's been repaired, they'd be like, yeah, I want it, instead of, uh, leaving on for blowing head gaskets blah 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 so gotta do a compression test make sure all the pistons still good and then we can do it see what we can do that's it for now going home to barbecue here we go here we go got the 305 they came out of golden rule got it up here a few days ago yesterday matter of fact and then i just sprayed some oven clean on it so literally all you gotta do drop a couple bucks in this machine Rinse it out best we can before we put it on the stand. These headers are going in the garbage or they're going to my scrap pile with all that other scrap. Um, alternator going to get used. Uh, AC stuff I'm going to actually take off and just put it in the uh, back of the bed. But got Logan with me. She wanted to come with me. She told me, I want to get out. So she got to zip her coat off. I mean, zip her coat up. So we about to do this and then um, rinse this boy off. Go to the shop, show y'all something. Uh, dang, I actually left the tool, but... Yeah, like I said, the 300 got a blown head gasket. That's gonna take a whole day to fix or more. Uh, the MC need a whole wiring job. That's gonna take a whole day or more. So, just gonna uh, ease off those for a little bit and keep on looking for quick flips. We're gonna stay away from that auction spot right there because uh, uh, I think all those are just cars are on the side of the road type stuff because it is a touring company. But anyway, enough for talking. We're about to go ahead and rinse this motor off. You got it. Alright. Yeah, rinse it off all the way. Yeah, so at this point, uh, open to the public auctions that don't have running cars. Like, it's um, a lot of them have running cars, but the running cars go way, way, way up to in price. And it's like, you can't make no money once you register and pay taxes on it because you pay so much for it. And then you still gotta do the maintenance or whatever wrong with it because you can't just sell a car and not do any work and then make money. You can, but you won't make much. So at this point, I'm just thinking about stopping going in those auctions because um, it's costing me more time. You, you can still make money on it, but it's costing me a lot more time. So uh, the 300C, I, I still think it's worth it, the MC. I mean, like I said, I didn't plan on fully restoring or nothing like that. And then it got something that I didn't think it had. So, I mean, it's more of a fun for me type of car. So I'm still going to sell it eventually. Just don't know when and how much. Uh, now, the, the, the 300 is going to get sold like, regardless. So by the time I'm registering and everything, before the motor get fixed, I'll be in a thousand bucks. I paid 400 for it. Uh, I think I can still get over a thousand dollars for the blown motor. Well, I'm pretty sure I can, but if I fix it, I think I can get at least uh, three thousand around here. Cause I've seen a two hundred thousand mile Magnum go for thirty three hundred, thirty two hundred, and that car only have one hundred twenty five thousand miles. So uh, I don't know. It's pretty clean. Matter of fact, I'll be in it less than a thousand. I just got a return for the tires. Once I found out the motor was blown, I asked for a return for my tires that I ordered online. I bought the wrong size anyway because I was rushing. I bought 16s when I bought set when I should have bought 17s. Um, but yeah, so we'll see. We'll see how that's gonna go. 
um, I'm not buying a motor for it because uh, motor online shipped 2.7 man it's like $1,200 just for the motor plus ship shipping is usually anywhere from 200 to 350 because I get a ship to uh, a freight a freight location near me like FedEx or hey I forgot to tell them I just used recently but the motor is, motors are anywhere from 200 to 350 the most I've seen without accessories 200 to 350 pounds uh, two people can lift it up like they charge you more if you want it delivered to your door it's like literally uh, 150 dollars more it's like 75 dollars for residential service and then another 75 dollars to take the pallet off the truck and put it in your driveway so we'll see man um but if you go to a freight location it'll be 200 dollars and then put it on your truck van whatever i put it i put it i used to put them in the van all the time just open the doors take the uh, middle seats out or take the middle seats put it on the back seat and then sit, sit the motor in there. I used to do it all the time. Um, but yeah, at this point, I'm just done with a uh, open to the public auction with cars that don't run. Um, I'm thinking though, I might go back to Colorado Springs, but the reason I may not is because Highway Patrol, man, I don't want to get like arrested or anything. Like, I don't want to go drive six hours for one car. If I put three cars on there, I'm guaranteed to get pulled over because I don't have no DOT information on my car. And DOT, for you all that don't know, is Department of Transportation. I don't have anything DOT on my on my truck. And I just can't go get some cars and throw them on there and get on the highway without the car being registered in my name. So if it's not registered in my name, I'm making money from it is what they're going to see. So even though I am registering in my name, they don't care. Like, yeah, I just bought all these cars. I just like a business. Even though my name is on all the paperwork, I look like a business because who's buying three cars? And, and what are you buying three cars for? Like, it's kind of iffy, so I'm just gonna, um, I'm gonna see. I wanna go back there, but the way they auction set up, man, like they used to put everything online and they stopped. Like all the pictures of cars, uh, what's gonna be available. Like you knew know two months ahead of time, like when the auction, say if an auction was today, the next auction is two months from now on a third Saturday of the month. Two months from now, I know what's there. They stopped doing it like that. So I don't really know. Maybe the car's going for less or, or yeah, I don't really know. So um, let's see. They have a nice junkyard right there too. Like real nice. Sunroofs, any roof you can find, any sunroof, any whole top of the car, like the way I cut them off, $50. Sunroof complete, that's what they say in the suit. Sunroof complete. We don't want to, $50, $50. And now I'm coming to pick and pull and all that stuff, charging for every single part on something. Man, I ain't used to that stuff. But anyway, enough talking, man. Y'all see what's happening. All right, y'all seen me and my daughter clean this boy up last night. So it's gonna be a night and day difference on the boat. This is all factory. I changed my mind. I'm taking the AC compressor and stuff off. Somebody made me an offer on it. I'm not sure if it's gonna sell, but I'm still taking it off. If I don't sell it with the truck, I'm just gonna put it like in there somewhere. Um, but I could keep it for myself. The reason I'm not is I have like two other sets, these same exact hoses and that R4 compressor. So yeah, like I said, night and day difference. Y'all are gonna see it. I got valve covers on the way and I have an air cleaner on the way. Um, bought the black paint and primer for the motor. And this is the OEM card that came off it. So I'm gonna clean that up, put that back on there. Hopefully it don't give us no problem because uh, it was running when, when it came off. It's distributed, I gotta get the pieces back in that go push this down and lock it on. Gotta get that back in. Literally to run this motor, you need power ground. We say bat, you need power there. Ground to the motor. Power to the starter and power wire for the starter so the motor. And boom, it's gonna run. Real simple, real simple. Uh, to get the alternator charged, it's a, a ground and 12 volt switch on it. Uh, so when you turn the key, you turn the, the alternator on. And then when the alternator spins, you get this wire power. But yeah, man. Pretty simple. But it'll be a one day job. Cleaning it up and then dropping it in. Cleaning it up won't be a one day job. I mean, cleaning it up will be a one day job by itself. But dropping it in. Literally pulling the mold and trench out together, made them back and put it back in. It'll be a one day job. And that truck will be running. 
running good. Y'all see it. Y'all see it. The spark plug is pretty new. Uh, Staying with the, the headers that's on the truck. I don't want no problems. So we're going to take them all off, off the truck. Uh, these one garbage. But yeah, that's enough.